section one of orchids this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit LibriVox.org. orchids by theodore ratislaw read by newgate novelist orchids orange and purple shot with white and mauve such in a greenhouse wet with tropic heat one sees these delicate flowers whose parents throve in some pacific island's hot retreat their ardent colours that betray the rank fierce hotbed of corruption whence they rose please eyes that long for stranger sweets than prank wild meadow blooms and what the garden shows exotic flowers how great is my delight to watch your petals curiously wrought to lie among your splendours day and night lost in a subtle dream of subtler thought bathed in your clamorous orchestra of hues the palette of your perfumes let me sleep while your mesmeric presences diffuse weird dreams and then bizarre sweet rhymes shall creep forth from my brain and slowly form and make sweet poems as a weaving spider spins a shrine of loves that laugh and swoon and ache a temple of coloured sorrows and perfumed sins end of poem this recording is in the public domain a dancer by theodore ratislaw read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist you look so quaintly comic dear a spangled harlequin who dance in wig and wings that gleam and glance that i could watch you half a year so oddly charming you appear a princess of a child's romance a fairy born above mischance in some divinely distant sphere you lightly come and lightly go with jingling bells and cap askew and ah my heart goes out to you while in the footlight's dazzling glow you for some happy moment seem the gracious phantom of a dream end of poem this recording is in the public domain in the tarantella by theodore ratislaw read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist a change and now you seem to be astray from some enchanted land that erst on some hot southern sand danced to the music of the sea your feet in sandals patter free as air for all the leathern band that binds your shapely ankles and climbs exquisitely to your knee you surely in some life before danced on the blue italian shore for english here with english girls you keep the laughter of the self upon the radiance of your mouth and by in sunlight on your curls end of poem this recording is in the public domain Her Photograph by Theodore Ratislaw Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist I can fancy, love, you speak I can almost hear you laugh As I trace your plaintive face In your silent photograph Even so you dance tonight In the ballet's wheel and whirl With a red cap on your head As a southern fisher girl in the hall you dance and here i pursue a stupid rhyme just to make my heart-strings ache and to kill the length of time 
till i meet you and we stroll homeward with the stars above dearest will you care or hear when i tell you of my love end of poem this recording is in the public domain at the stage door by theodore ratislaw read for librivox.org by newgate novelist down the passage where the gas vainly struggles with the wind straggling groups of women pass this one stamping chilly toes waits for one who lags behind that one takes an arm and goes silhouettes of youth and age how denuded of the grace late so radiant on the stage let them go i wait for her then i see the well-known face shining over martin fur we take arms and march away happy in our meeting here after all the stupid day free from work and free as light you and i together dear in the happy chilly night end of poem this recording is in the public domain gifts by theodore ratislaw read for LibriVox.org by newgate novelist it is but little i can bring my lady i who only sing for gifts you slumber dreaming of i can but give you love for love others may bring you gems to wear a gleam on wrist and throat and hair i can but give a rhyme my dear a kiss and now and then a tear end of poem this recording is in the public domain la fleur de jardin de Cibo by theodore ratislaw read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist to george l wanger odour of women faintly wrought in folds of silken bodices that hide the fain and supple throat nor musk nor heliotrope it is nor scent of violet powder caught within the soft skin's crevices o oh, perfume headier than wine when in my circling arms you lie how perfect with restraint laid by and womanhood grown infantine o oh, perfume magic and divine that sways my swooning senses when my chin rests on your breast and then your lips creep slowly down to mine end of poem this recording is in the public domain the conquest of sense by theodore ratislaw read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist i love to watch your colour go your eyes and mouth's red jewelled cup swoon and your very heart break up beneath my kisses so you like a violin give forth such music of triumphant flesh as well might call afresh the loveless angels back to earth your soul if soul you have flies hence regret and shame are vain to pierce your spirit swooning in the fierce hysteria of sense though you be but a doll or flower you wake to live beneath my kiss and i possess your soul in this sense-stricken body for an hour end of poem this recording is in the public domain white lilies by theodore ratislaw read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist 
flowers rare and sweet i scent whose delicate white should grouping at her corsage interlace their purity with her corrupted grace with the full throat and mouth of my delight evil design to see the pale flowers slight the beauty of the worn and powdered face mingling their costly virtue with the trace of ancient loves that live in time's despite how soon they died poor blossoms at her throat ere of the last valse died the last sad note no more than love of her meant to endure for all the savour of her lips the spice of her frail spirit steeped in cultured vice gracefully bad and delicately impure end of poem this recording is in the public domain sonnet macabre by theodore Ratislaw. read for LibriVox.org by newgate novelist i love you for the grief that lurks within your languid spirit and because you wear corruption with a vague and childish air and with your beauty know the depths of sin because shame cuts and holds you like a gin and virtue dies in you slain by despair since evil has you tangled in its snare and triumphs on the soul good cannot win i love you since you know remorse and tears and in your troubled loveliness appears the spot of ancient crimes that writhe and hiss i love you for your hands that calm and bless the perfume of your sad and slow caress the avid poison of your subtle kiss end of poem this recording is in the public domain To Salome at St. James's by Theodore Ratislaw, read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist. Princess of dancing and of mirth, pleased with a trinket or a gown, eternal as eternal earth, you dance the centuries down. Yes, you, my plaything, slight and light capricious petulant and proud with whom i sit and sup to-night among the tawdry crowd are she whose swift and sandalled feet and postured girlish beauty won a pagan prize for you unmeet the head of baptist john and after ages when you sit a princess less in birth than power freed from the theatre's fume and heat to kill an idle hour here in the babbling room a gleam with scarlet lips and naked arms and such rich jewels as beseem the painted damsel's charms even now your tired and subtle face bears record of the wondrous time when from your limbs lascivious grace sprang forth your splendid crime and though none deem it true of those who watch you in our banal age like some stray fairy glide and pose upon a london stage yet i to whom your swift caprice turns for the moment ardent eyes have seen the strength of love release your sleeping memories i too am servant to your glance i too am bent beneath your sway my wonder my desire who dance men's heads and hearts away sweet arbitress of love and death unchanging on time's changing sands you hold more lightly than a breath the world between your hands End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Chansonnette 
by theodore Atisla, read for LibriVox.org by newgate novelist could a flower replace every kiss of ours then the world and space were a bed of flowers foolish flowers and vain bruised by many fears they would have for rain my unnumbered tears end of poem this recording is in the public domain Finis by Theodore Ratislaw, read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist. Ah, you and I are not so far from luckless fortune, now it seems, sweet lips, for all our foolish dreams of joy beneath a favouring star. Joy was, and fortune changes chance that brought us somehow heart to heart now bids us once touch lips and part i go to work and you to dance ah best and dearest love that yet made sweeter life's unfriended way it must be many a weary day ere you and i forget forget time conquers even a memory but this alone he cannot do bring back such love again to you such lips and loveliness to me end of poem this recording is in the public domain impression by theodore ratislaw Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist Five bourgeois faces as the reeling train Plunged headlong into darkness and the damp Glared in the dull light of the yellow lamp Five faces not indicative of brain Three slept and one stared at the window pane One read a book and rose at times to stamp a foot That seemed uneasy with the cramp the wheels ground out a foolish song's refrain and though each time the tune came round anew i sped a furlong further love from you i could not sorrow then for love's eclipse for still it seemed that you were with me there still that i held you closely stroked your hair and felt your kisses tremble on my lips End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Epilogue by Theodore Atislaw. Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist. Time was glad to part, friend from friend. Still you have my heart till the end. Loves that he could rive yet shall time keep perforce alive in a rhyme with the world shall live love and you lucy let us give time his due end of poem this recording is in the public domain etchings by theodore ratislaw read for LibriVox.org by newgate novelist one on the fourth floor four papered walls that once perhaps were white in some dark backward and abysm of time where rubbed out flowers indefinitely climb towards a cobwebbed ceiling black as night a tipsy table shaking in a fright beneath its load of blotted prose and rhyme and then the small cracked window dim with grime that lets in draughts more easily than light the mournful ghosts of two unhappy chairs and oh a lamp that infinitely smells this with a tenor singer's day-long yells and noisy footsteps on the creaking stairs this high among the chimneys and the dome of london's fogs and rain clouds this is home 
two in the bar a hand that twists the broidered veil above the drooping flower-red mouth upon the straight and delicate nose and gloveless one snow-white and frail whereon a glittering emerald glows that lifts a tumbler to your mouth soft eyes that throw a languid glance across the golden blazing bar and leave a weary smile with me ah who can tell the ways of chance or why to-night divided we exchange bored smiles across the bar but age who sits beside you knows his worth and by the right of gold is claimant of your charms to-night while youth takes up a distant pose and watches you from far in flight before the majesty of gold clatter and babbling voices and cabs rattling by the open door most commonplace but even here despair can sear and hate can brand now when you rise and disappear beside your partner through the door three at the empire the low and soft luxurious promenade electric light pile carpet the device of gilded mirrors that repeat you thrice the crowd that lounges strolls from yard to yard the calm and brilliant circes who retard your passage with the skirts and rouge that spice the changeless programme of insipid vice and stun you with a languid strange regard ah what are these the perfume and the glow the ballet that coruscates down below the glittering songstress and the comic stars ah what are these although we sit withdrawn above our sparkling tumblers and cigars to us so like to perish with a yawn four un passade night's hours ticked slowly by and made a tune to our delight till when the dark went nigh to fade we went into the night and in the silence watched a flower far in the east withdrawn the faint blue light of that long hour that goes before the dawn so in the darkness standing we parted to live and die none knows the love that grew to be between us you and i none knows and you and i forget the world is full of din only in god's book lingers yet the record of our sin end of poem this recording is in the public domain rencontre by theodore ratislaw read for librivox.org by newgate novelist could i not leave upon your face the print of lips on the divine soft throat and bosom's interspace where once my kisses found a shrine i should have sealed you for my own on lip or chin or tender cheek one night when powerless and alone you lay too faint to see or speak this were a marvel to the wise that of the visions i recall in your light laughing face and eyes there lives no memory at all end of poem this recording is in the public domain hothouse flowers by theodore ratislaw read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist i hate the flower of wood or common field i cannot love the primrose nor regret the death of any shrinking violet nor even the cultured garden's banal yield the silver lips of lilies virginal 
the full deep bosom of the enchanted rose please less than flowers glass hid from frosts and snows for whom an alien heat makes festival i love those flowers reared by man's careful art of heady scents and colours strong of heart or weak that die beneath the touch or knife some rich as sin and some as virtue pale and some as subtly infamous and frail as she whose love still eats my soul and life end of poem this recording is in the public domain eros tafte by theodore ratislaw read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist crimson nor yellow roses nor the savour of the mounting sea are worth the perfume i adore that clings to thee the languid-headed lilies tire the changeless waters weary me i ache with passionate desire of thine and thee there are but these things in the world thy mouth of fire thy breasts thy hands thy hair upcurled and my desire end of poem this recording is in the public domain Hesperides Eutra by Theodore Ratislaw, read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist. Snared in your low cut corsage, belle marquise, your breasts that tremble to a laugh or sigh seem azure doves that couch, prepared to fly from amorous hands of lovers hot to seize or scare them from their vain securities seem full moons fallen from an empty sky or mellow apples for the teeth to try or pearls a diver gropes for under seas but if on earth aught live that may incite the sense to visions of more sweet delight than these smooth wonders of your perfumed throat it is the small light foot that to and fro swings idly and enticingly below the frou-frou of your skirt and petticoat end of poem this recording is in the public domain on tiptoe by theodore ratislaw read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist along the corridor i heard her naked feet come like a bird through hush and darkness far and near the rustle of her skirts grew clear the door creaked open closed again her breath fell on my face and then her lips closed on my lips delight silently in the silent night end of poem this recording is in the public domain nocturne by theodore ratislaw read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist leave then thy kisses cease let be for fairer flowers and fancies keep their watch amid the paths of sleep i weary of thy love and thee on dusky meadows of the sea the faint stars worn with watching cower and slow and sombre blue the hour comes onward of the dawn to be ah love thy lips curved like a lyre what ails it us to strive and strain for though ten times desire be slain there lives again a new desire yea though our hearts went nigh to swoon with stress of amorous arms and lips 
love would revive as from eclipse resurgent springs a fierier moon have not my myriad kisses fed upon thy body from thy sweet white eyelids to thy whiter feet nor i nor thou been satiated not till the same death part us two making thy lover one with thee canst thou be wholly filled with me or i possess thee through and through sleep and the odour of thy breasts shall lull me and thy loosened hair till morning's golden touch make fair the waves innumerable crests end of poem this recording is in the public domain aestus by theodore ratislaw read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist ah summer days and dreams and summer song pass lightly lightly sleep and linger long that i may watch here where the long downs fall the roses red and yellow carnival and there with foam lines ruffled by the breeze far out the radiance of the dancing seas o oh, pleasure thus to live and lie and be a palpitating part of earth and sea as though i were a flower or useless weed or some tall grasses light and floating seed rejoicing only since the sun is bright and by the heat half maddened to delight i could indeed lying in the feathered grass dream that i lay nigh some arcadian pass and heard doves wings winnow the molten air while with hot fingers in my crisped hair some long dark woman hot with lust and whims stretched at my side her wealth of naked limbs and i her wet warm arms clasped close between with slow deep kisses lipped her sun-browned skin her soft moist breasts and subtle amorous throat the while swart pan upon his mellow oat fluted through rushes round him and above the praise of youth and summer and light love End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Asleep by Theodore Ratislaw. Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist. Lids closed and pale with parted lips, she lay, black on white pillows, spread her hair unbound. Awake i watched her sleeping face and found its beauty perfect in the breaking day ah then i knew that love had passed away alas though with the entering sun that crowned with light the beauty that mine arms enwound came to the morning music of the bay i wept that love had been and was no more that never shower nor sunlight should restore the beauty that was dead thenceforth to me while radiant in the outburst of the dawn fresh as the wind that swept the mountain lawn green april wantoned on the noisy sea End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Tuberose by Theodore Ratislaw. Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist. 
cool flower that to my heated lips hast clung through half an amorous hour i love thee and thy honey drips white languid heady scented flower my mistress plucked thee from the lulled heat of her odorous alcove i know the smooth white hands that culled thy stem white messenger of love but ah what missive comes with thee my tender bloom my welcome guest in secret dost thou bear to me the languid fragrance of her breast haply among thy honeyed worlds a fervent kiss alone abides and yet in these enchanted curls perchance some traitor poison hides dear poison send thy deadliest breath subtly about me as i lie that none may part from me in death the murderous flower by whom i die end of poem this recording is in the public domain Tannhäuser by Theodor Ratislaw, read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist. Orgy of ill and triumph of the sense, and she the dominant and insatiable black Venus of the nether gulfs of hell, and her caresses fierce and swift and dense, and he the night triumphant in offence, snared in the toils of evil, and the spell of murderous hair and kisses that compel and in the glory of impenitence but hark again the pilgrim's stately song mounts from the bursting trombones that prolong the hymn victorious over sin and death rejoicing with thee where the sunbeams live maid who canst love and canst for love forgive o oh, far-seen phantom of elizabeth End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Songs to Elizabeth by Theodore Ratislaw, read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist. One, Ave Maria Stella. Star of the chaste, inviolable sea, I set my heart and lips to sing to thee out of the cavern of my sin and pain my soul turns toward thee star my star again o oh, sweet as comes the cool first wind of dawn across grey sea and shadowy cliffside lawn o oh, sweet as breaks the faint first gleam of light on eyelids watching with the weary night the memory of thy presence comes to bless my soul bowed down with infinite weariness chaste star sweet star star perfect and divine too far from me not to be wholly mine too near to me not to be very far my lamp my love my muse my song my star two o oh, star above the sunset's purple wave it had been thine to heal to spare to save my heart was thine my soul was one with thee grown virginal in thy virginity thy fingers with the cool sweet touch of flowers had healed me from the devastated hours thy words had cleansed me and thy love had made a port where love had anchored unafraid but strength and love and skill in song and rhyme shake not the edict of unshaken time i would have given thee love alas a name to set thee foremost in the ranks of fame and life could life have bidden thy spirit live ah sweet but what thou hadst thou wouldst not give three 
as when the prayers and chants have passed away at mass when nave and chancel dim are dense with purple fumes of cloud-like curled incense one bows before the altar's sovereign sway and wanders forth into the garish day waking as after slumber from the tense and strange delight of the exalted sense unto the dull world's hurry and delay so you being gone out of my life and soul gold censer on whose breath my life was fed monstrance that held of old love's sacred bread i am as one that runs without a goal the course i go that once foretold my gain being now most flat unprofitable and vain four o oh, du mein holder abenstern my star of eve above the silent dell to thee and her white twins of love farewell help and a haven from o'ermastering love in you i sought who were so far above too far alas for while ye slowly fade my heart again her snakes and lips invade i feel her arms and form about me pressed the stinging of her kisses in my breast o oh, heavenly stars that shine on earth and wave ye could not answer to my soul and save yet while ye watch the land and tranquil sea a little longer stars remember me for with my last farewell i lose and leave the heaven ye gain o oh, stars of silent eve end of poem this recording is in the public domain modern friends by theodore ratislaw read for LibriVox.org by newgate novelist the old world knelt before st peter's chair the saint whose faith the church has on a stone firm set from storm and tempest stands upon praying for the intercession of his prayer or laid its aching sorrows and despair before the altars of saints paul or john that they might plead for absolution with god and he forgive them and forbear the saint we worship nowadays the friend that in our bosom leans to sting and rend an adder metamorphosed to a dove is he the gutters spit upon and hiss the red-haired traitor of the putrid kiss st judas with his smiles and words of love end of poem this recording is in the public domain A Lover's Consolation by Theodore Ratislaw, read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist. Among the garden walks of proserpine, love, I will wait for you until your eyes are wearied of the sad, monotonous skies, and till you have drained the last cup of life's wine. You bade me wait since to this love of mine might no responsive love within you rise i waited long and now being one who dies go hence to linger at a duskier shrine i had no will but yours i gave to you my life albeit for all that i could do you would not have me call you more than friend of this i am glad that while we drew life's breath we trod the same sad earth and after death shall be united in a common end end of poem this recording is in the public domain song by theodore ratislaw read for librivox.org by newgate novelist 
was my love so slight a thing only a pebble at your feet or a faded rose we fling to the river or the street nought but peace i wish you though for my wearier heart i pray you may some day learn to know what it was you cast away end of poem this recording is in the public domain Brunhilde by Theodore Ratislaw Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist The flames leap forth about thee as thine eyes close, And thy soul is lost in slumbers deep. Thee shall the fierce, strange fires in safety keep, For no chance traveller here and helpless prize, For none whom fear hath touched, thy beauty lies who knows not fear alone these flames shall leap his voice alone shall break thy magic sleep his kiss alone shall bid thee awake and rise oh care art thou no longer and no more deep draughts of wine shalt thou for wotan pour no more among thy sisters shalt thou ride shouting thy war-song o'er strong warriors dead here shalt thou sleep until the time being sped love's lips shall wake thee o siegfried's destined bride end of poem this recording is in the public domain Siegfried by Theodore Ratislaw Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist Leuchtende Liebe, lachende Tod Miraculous boy, reared in the forest's deep, The bear thy playmate, and the wolf thy friend, Whose arms alone could forge anew and mend Thy sire's great sword, and slay with one full sweep the poisonous worm coiled round his sacred keep thy boyhood touches on its glorious end for where the flame-ringed mountain peaks ascend behold the valkyr maiden laid asleep boy ignorant of fear and of desire thus far the wood-bird led thee through the fire thou hast accomplished all that wotan saith thy mighty life hath found its goal in this o oh, siegfried in brunhilde's rapturous kiss of waking love that shines and laughs at death end of poem this recording is in the public domain a minor chord by theodore ratislaw read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist i shudder from your beauty hour by hour i dread the time that comes and will not spare the colourless strange yellow of your hair more fain than lips of lovers to devour that thin wide mouth of yours a sanguine flower a joy a dream a wonder and a snare that comes to shake into the driving air green leaf and pink bud from thine apple bower i know that even as autumn ere he goes spares neither lily nor rayon or rose so time shall spoil and scatter shred by shred your face's worn white beauty hard and cold shall wholly ruin your hair's sweet pallid gold and waste your mouth's fierce strip of poppied red end of poem this recording is in the public domain lyric by theodore ratislaw read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist there is no truth like this love flies when youth has flown the lips of youth alone are worth a kiss turn thy full lips red flame to mine the thirst give way for youth's sweet sake and lay on love the blame 
End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Mirror to the Beauty by Theodore Ratislaw, read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist. Fair face with curved lips bursting amorous red, grow never old nor faded. I who scan the tall limbs white desired by many a man, would flash not back the glint of thy bright head wert thou discrowned of youth for ever fled nay rather when his hungering kisses span thy throat like some love-murdered courtesan fall in thy youth and regal beauty dead not in my green and tranquil lake shall show thy gold-red hair grown faded or thy face be seamed by time's dread wrinkles set a row for i have seen your nude limbs sinuous grace flower red with passion at his step below and of your love the fiery first embrace end of poem this recording is in the public domain sick in the Pafre by theodore ratislaw read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist out of the crowd of women i have known and long have let go by it is alone your memory that comes in hours of grief to me when eyes are blind and lips are dumb your sweet and sad soul seems to come across the vague and distant years to touch my brow to stay my tears End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Painter by Theodore Ratislaw, read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist. Sweet, couldst thou give thy soul of love to me, no gift, save what the world of men who live could render in return, or mine to give no gift save one art's immortality and this were light and vain as love to thee whose soul is sweet and useless as a flower seeing that you deem the moment and the hour co-equal with the eternal sun and sea ah love this is most sad to dream that you your small red mouth your eyes of tender blue your perfect body without spot or blame must die and be forgotten as you forget all things that i weep after and regret since losing love i will not give you fame end of poem this recording is in the public domain her fault by theodore ratislaw Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist. Dawn leads the sun, the winter spring, Night brings the stars, the dew, No night or day will ever bring My love again to you. No god can bid one vanished day, One joy, one dream, return, alas, And we, ah, well away, Forget, even while we yearn, the same lips weary one to kiss the same words lose their spell you should have known the end was this you loved too much too well end of poem this recording is in the public domain seascape by theodore ratislaw read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist the strong wind on the unsheltered down shook loose her fluttering hair the very sun seemed glad to crown the head of one so fair 
the channel sang beneath blue skies its sounding song and she with love's light laughter in her eyes made earth as heaven for me end of poem this recording is in the public domain swimming song by theodore ratislaw read for librivox .org by newgate novelist the broad green rollers lift and glide beneath our hearts as side by side we breast them blithely blithely swim toward the far horizon's rim the murmur of the land recedes the land of grief that aches and needs we only as we fall and rise drink deep the splendour of the skies o oh, far blue heaven above our head o oh, near green sea about us spread what joy so full since time began could earth our mother give to man your bright face through the water peers and laughs what need have men for tears we say the land is far and dim the world is summers and we swim your bright face peers and laughs the sweet same joy fulfils us hands and feet the same seas salt wet lips kiss ours we feel the same enraptured hours out yonder where our distant home beckons us from the crests of foam out yonder through the rollers mirth what part was ever ours with earth your white limbs flash your red lips gleam love seems life's best and holiest dream nought comes between us here and i could wish not otherwise to die with sea beneath us heaven above life holds but laughter joy and love no trammels bind us now and we are freer than the birds are free your face seems sweeter here your hair wet from the sea's salt lips more fair your limbs that move and gleam and shine hellenic pagan half divine if i should catch you now make fast your hands with mine about you cast my limbs and through the untroubled waves draw you down to the sea's deep graves ah sweet god's gift is good enough god's gift of freedom life and love though but for this brief hour are we alone upon the eternal sea end of poem this recording is in the public domain to a pianist by theodore ratislaw read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist your delicate fingers on the keyboard make the riotous notes beat swift as driving rain with thunder in its pauses and constrain the spirit of music's inmost heart to awake once more once more bid rise and swoon and ache this song of schumann's filled with tremulous pain rapture and peace and joy that soars again in fierce delight of love for love's own sake how vain in sight of yours seems this my art for could i play or paint you i could deem my art not wholly worthless of its theme but i who lack all things that else might move your inmost eyes to read my longing heart i can but fill the sonnet with my love end of poem this recording is in the public domain hope by theodore ratislaw read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist somewhere some day i pray the day be soon shall i lie dead perchance when this green floor of chequered grass beneath the sycamore is burnt up by the fierce september noon some midnight when the sea's wan waters croon their lullaby to the enchanted shore an ebb tide 
with its vague and muffled roar past where the wet sands glisten to the moon then shalt thou gain at length thy great desire o heart of mine o heart of tears and fire thy life is troublous as the changing foam then shalt thou lie at peace and solemn rest calm in the attainment of thy life's long quest the haven of thy wish thine only home end of poem this recording is in the public domain A Litany by Theodore Ratislaw, read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist. Virgin, whose sweet side within Jesus entered without sin, hear our cry to thee. Mary, whose fair eyes have known tears man weepeth all alone, hear our cry to thee. Star that shining far away lighteth the lone wanderer's way hear our cry to thee golden house that maketh home for the traveller that hath none hear our cry to thee mother who being pure and mild hath the whole sad world for child hear our cry to thee mother though we stray like sheep yet because we weep and weep hear our cry to thee mother since so greatly we need thine aid and thy pity hear our cry to thee end of poem this recording is in the public domain ave mari stella by theodore ratislaw read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist star of the sea be thou my star here or on wilder seas afar point out my way o favouring guide between fierce winds and waters wide thee has the sailor from his prow hailed often as i hail thee now as thou hast guided him guide me across a stranger bitterer sea he giving thanks to god has praised thy beam when like a curtain raised the night his worn eyes vainly scanned lifted and dawn gave sight of land o oh, favour thou my shifting helm lest leaping rollers overwhelm my bark that made of mortal breath puts out across the sea of death save thee i have no light no star the winds of sorrow howl and far the furious breakers leap and fight beneath impenetrable night alone thou shinest forth to show the hope of dreams man may not know o oh, heavenly star guide even me to haven and home beyond the sea end of poem this recording is in the public domain. Spes e Fides by Theodore Ratislaw Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist Star of the ocean, at whose shrine I seek with glad heart the divine sweet grace God grants to us who live, pray him to heal us and forgive lo ruined now my roses lie my orchids fade and fall and die alone the lilies live nor fade that i before thy feet have laid our lady through the paths of sin no rest or joy was ours to win regret and grief and bitterer tears pursued us through the ashen years as over that grey sleeping sea thy face from heaven once shined on me and turned the footsteps of my life guiding my soul to peace from strife so ever in my heart do thou reign mother as thou reignest now and light my pathway from above 
o oh, queen of heaven o oh, star of love end of poem this recording is in the public domain A Rondel of Adieu by Theodore Ratislaw Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist Sweet muse who led my life astray Wove round my heart a spell What need to leave me now and say farewell? Whilst in my heart you dwelt How well sped song and roundelay But who can fate foretell? my lips that sang no longer may alas since you rebel and so for ever and a day farewell end of poem this recording is in the public domain and end of orchids by theodore ratislaw thank you